No thanks to Ezekiel Bassi. Ezekiel Bassi has uh, turned him uh, inside out. And in back, practically, it's uh, almost there. And what a shot. Coming from the man we've been talking about, the man from Greater Academy, Greater Tomorrow Academy, and here for God's power. He's got power there, he's got skill. I mean, had all the chance, took it well. Femi Thomas was just alive to push it um, across the bar. What a goal this would have been from a near Fjorka. But then Femi Thomas is experienced. Stadium in Kanu. Kanu Pillars up by one goal to nil against Warrior Wolves. The goal scored in the. Oh, look at the way it's just wasn't through. And near Fjorka. Oh, what a goal that was! A solar effort. One of the best you are ever going to see in the Nigeria Club Premier League. That was sumptuous. That was absolutely from out of this world. Got power and yet York, took everybody to the cleaners and then rubbed to that sublime finish. What a goal! And that certainly has to go down as one of the goals of the season. Leroy in what today at Denny GD against Hatland, you know, where two months ago. Absolutely fantastic solo run. You see where he picks that up, writes one challenge, gets in between two defenders, makes space for himself, and as the goalkeeper committed himself, he simply rifled that into the goalkeeper's near post. Absolutely fantastic. What a run, what a goal, what a finish. You can't see me, guys. That's what he seems to be saying. Ghost Power and Nierfjok knocks in his first of the season and kind of should uh, hunger right from the start oh good football I, you must say the pair of Kufre Ebon and God's power and Nefjok for Aqua United have shown very good touches to the ball skillful both of them and that was a, a, a real a really silky toy he tries to tease the ball forward to Namadou all 22 players now on their feet and again that man dropped down. Abuaziz well, has been booked already, and I brought down a Nefjok. It is a red card that time. Yellow, a second yellow, and the red card for Abuaziz. Arguably the live wire in the attack for Wari Wolves. Well, what sort of blow is this going to be to the home side? Uh, well, Bowie, uh, I think players should be very careful. He was already. All comes back there, and well, <laughs> attempting to lash the ball away in Yakban. Oh, great football there from Adia Fjok. And Bassi, and that one off the crossbar, a header, just off the crossbar a second time. Well, how lucky... Can An injured player could get treated, but how about this for a succession of chances? Fantastic movement by that man, uh, Godspar and Adia Fjok. This is very good play down the right. When the cross came, he just uh, connected and uh, that was Kufre Ebon off the crossbar and this header again came off the crossbar I don't think Danny Akwe would have got to that if he finished to the back of the net well clearly the peak of the park for Aqua United today has been absolutely fantastic Gotspar and Yefjok is his name Kano Killers have been taken apart like this some weeks ago they were beaten 3 0 by the Sunshine Sunshine for Kano Pilat here. Yeah. God's power. And we'll find uh, Adam Muhammad. He he Adam Muhammad. He wants to go, but no choice. Too many. For Deniji. Had a good run about the end of the uh, Tamley. Yellow card this time going to the goal scorer, Paulo Nobi. Paul Onobi gets a yellow card as the second for Sunshine. Goes for a New York was stripped from the back by no nonsense Onobi Paul. Who by the Udo for my junior international. Nice defending. Udo is one player that has played from the under 17 to the under 20 to the under 23 and to the Super Eagles. This play is a Masterful defending from him. Four first torch uh, from a long diary. Allowed a near your God's power to come. From a new man, Kwau. And near your 
for a stylish footballer. So long, but couldn't stop uh, Dio Joe's penalty from giving Sunshine Stars their third goal. And they've chance to pull one back. What was that? Ademu. It should have been a more a easier goal to score than to miss. And left York got scored after doing all the difficult work. We saw Ademu there doing a turn, a 180 turn. Ralph asked me a while back, why didn't Prince Agri on the turn hit that ball? I told him technique was not. There are players uh, to try to get this ball released to a teammate on time because you stand a likelier opportunity of uh, losing possession when you hang on to it for an extended length of time. You can see the player being fouled for Canopillas there, got power. The man from the Grand North Pyramid City, Kano, one of the most ancient cities in Nigeria. I've gone even further ahead here. And what a goal that was from Anyefio. The referee allows a ball advantage. And Rebbe Ali has put the ball into touch. The first booking of the game now coming out. And uh, unfortunately, it is to Dolphins. Dolphins, Onyeka Chiakaken. Not one of the ones we suspected by going to go into the referees group, but uh, there it is. He picks the first yellow card in this game, and the 50 first three back. And uh, the weather really did uh, rip up havoc. Uh, not very seriously so, because we are glad to be back with the odds up by one goal to nil against Worry Wolves. Nice touch, that's for one here, Pio. Good turn around. Looking for Akweme. Anyepiok brought down free kick. Chinedu John Paul, I bring it down Anyepiok. I'm of the um, Anyepiok is making most of this. He practically played for this Anyan Fjok. He knew he was going to be touched there by Chinedu John Paul. And as soon as that happened, you saw how he dived and went aground. Good enough, the referee saw it and knew that it doesn't merit a... Francis Ubon. God's power, Anyan Fjok. God's power! The ball bounced off the foot of a Shaita defender. And our defender is Nathaniel Joseph, and it's a corner kick. Intelligent play there by God's power in FU, who made sure he created a space for himself and took... Five goals. Good, most Nigerian top flight a year ago. A bit of skill there. It didn't come off. Free kick, rather. Referee giving that a foul. And that's just. That's our. Now it's our. Barged over there. Caught in the back by Fahai. Question about the foul there. God's power tower with some uh, good play there. Wins the throw as well. 
acceleration and ability to beat Sancerre with his pace. God's power goes down. Clipped by the centre back, Pap Dio. And the Nigerian contingent. Daniel Emmanuel able to save despite the deflection. Lovely turn from God's power. In with a chance, he made it 2-1. Then it was 2-2. Karim, the substitute. Dancing. The goal scored in the... Oh, look at the way he's just bolted through. And yet, oh, what a goal that was! Out of this world, got power and yet York took everybody to the cleaners and then runs to that sublime finish. What a goal! And that certainly has to go down as one of the goals of the season. Leroy in what they are Deniji did against Hatland, you know, where two months ago, absolutely fantastic solo run. You see where he picks that off, writes one challenge, gets in between two defenders, makes best for himself, and as the goalkeeper committed himself, he simply rifled that into the goalkeeper's near post. Absolutely fantastic. What a run, what a goal, what a finish. You can't see me, guys. That's what he seems to be saying. Because inside out and in back practically it's almost there and what a shot coming from the man we've been talking about the man from greater academy greater tomorrow academy and he have your god's power he's got power there he's got skill i mean had all the chance took it well Femi thomas was just alive to push it um, across the bar what a goal this would have been from a near fjorka but then Thomas, his experience, all come into that.